temperature conditions. Okay, we have completed now. What are the adapters we discussed? In whales, seals, polar bears, we have completed now. Now we are going to discuss about the adaptations and the response to adverse situation. Adverse means dangerous, even dangerous situations, some kind of inverse they are showing different types of adaptations. So what are the adaptations they are showing in adverse, dangerous situations? Some adaptations to cope up with adverse situations. Adverse means affecting situations. If you are not following the adaptations, it is effect on our life. That kind of situation, some kind of inverse they are doing, various types of adaptations. They, they are, these are quite peculiar and prominent and yet go unnoticed by us. These are very hard. Peculiar, particularly if you think about this, unnoticed you can't find out. So this type of adapt adaptations also there in, in this inverse. That kind of peculiar, different kinds of adaptations. Also. They are showing some kind of animals. Observe with pictures, you may find many kinds of organs living underground like this. Why did they choose such places? Observe here. So this is their side. So they are making some burrows. After making these burrows, they are living in that burrows. So it is covered with side. You can't find out here is a habitat. You can't find out here is some kind of animals are living. Some kind of organisms are living. Can't find out. What kind of adaptation they are showing? They are living in that area and they are showing some adaptations. What are the adaptations they are showing here? <coughs> Many organisms that live in the hard deserts or polar regions migrate to the deeper layers of the earth to protect themselves from the extreme conditions of heat and cold. Number of different types of organisms already we discussed various types of adaptations. Some kind of animals, whenever they want to protect extreme cold conditions. They are showing different types of adaptations. Sometimes extreme hard conditions. They are showing some adaptations. Means adaptation is adjustable properties. What are the adaptations they are showing in extreme cold conditions and extreme hot conditions? Now we are going to discuss. For example, seasonal adaptations can be seen in obvious type frog. See according to season, winter season and summer season. Already know rainy season is suitable for growing frogs, developing their generation. So why they, that's why they are not showing any adaptations in the rainy season. Only remaining two seasons, winter and summer, they want to protect themselves. So at the time, what are the adaptations they are showing? It is very important. To protect themselves from the extremes of hot and cold conditions, they grow deep in the ground and remain motionless until the conditions are favorable. Okay. Extreme hot conditions, extreme cold conditions, they are showing different adaptations. At the time, in the hot, extreme hot conditions, they are making some burrows in the soil. They went to deep place of the soil. They are living without motion, without moving from that place. When they are in that situation, they didn't take any even food and water. Without moving, they are living continuously completing the weather conditions, which they want to protect from hot, extreme hot conditions. So, whenever they get favorable conditions, then they will come out from the burrows and they are living as well life. During this period, the rate of metabolic activity slows down and the animal goes into a nearly unconscious sleepy conditions called hibernation. When the situation of the motionless at the time. What are the metabolic, different types of metabolic activities, respiratory system, digestive system and circulatory system, every system will go slow down. Why at the time these organisms are not taking any food makers, any water, anything. That's why all metabolic activities come down <coughs> without moving, without taking. This kind of situation we are calling which is cold condition, which is at the time, unconscious they are sleeping, unconsciousness sleep, unconsciousness, without moving, without taking anything, for the completion of this period, in summer or winter, what is the sleeping conditions in winter season called hibernation, 
in summer season it is called east vision these two types of east vision and hibernation two kinds of adaptation are shown by amphibians like frogs so is one important adaptation which we find in the frog understood Correct information about hibernation and estivation and make use of it. For this, you need to go library and read. So, we have to collect some information about the estivation. What are the other properties? So, already you know when, when, when the estivation time in summer season, when they want to protect themselves from hot conditions, they are making burrows in the soil and they are they going to deep places of the soil and living without moving, without taking food. The situation is called unconscious sleep. This. This adaptation is called the East Division. Okay, same which we are explaining. If it is continued in winter, that is called the hibernation. Hibernation and East Division, two types of adaptation we find in the works. <coughs> Next, lichens are like it. So, what is lichen? What is the meaning of this? <coughs> <coughs> Symbiotic life. So two animals are living together and helping each other. This process is called symbiosis. The same process, one algal colony, one fungal colony, both are living each other and living cooperative manner. This process is called symbiotic life. One algae and one fungus. One algal colony, one fungus colony, both are living together. This, that is called the lichen or lichen. You may have observed greenish patches on the bark turn into a greyish whitish mass and then to a pe peculiar flaky or greenish growth. In rainy season, we are observing. So, greenish, what is the greenish part? All the, this is called bark. Yes, you may have observed greenish patches on the Bark turn into a grayish, so green. So in the rainy season we are observing green color, which is forming on the bark of the trees. This is the stem of the trees. When it is completing the season, it is converted into grayish whitish mass, gray white. It is changing the color, and then to make clear craggy or greenish color. So then you can observe grayish. Black like structure means produce body color and structure for our body. Fish and velvet in the tagas are also on our body. What do you think it is? So that is algae and the fungus. Both type of which is belongs to thallophyta phylum. They are growing on the bark of the stem, so it is very soft. In any sense, we are observing the situation. Some kind of smooth, soft substance are coming on the bar. A flavoring agent in the name of Pattar Pool is used in preparing biryani. It is also type of structure. What is the velvet which is forming? Protrudes like structure. That is called flake like structure. Flake, portugal and structure. Body plant structure. That is called Pattar Pool. So it is also using as a biryani leaf. So this type of success we are observing on the bark of the some kind of trees, not at all. They are observed. So this is. Figure 18 shows the successful adaptation of all game fun in corn. So we can observe successful adaptation, adjustable conditions in all game fungus. How oh, these type of adaptations we can they are farming. The fungus colony attacks an algal colony where most of the algal colony that fails to compete dies out. So when in the time of the completing the rainy season, so fungal colony attack the algal colony. Algae, so which is called greenish part. It is covered by fungus colony. So what is it? Why it is attacking? Means the more adaptive forms of algae live and to form symbiotic relationship with the fungi, <coughs> fungi in colony is called nature. So why? Already wherever it is, lot, it is getting lot of water, automatically you can see this greenish velvet structure. That is algae. So whenever it is going to complete the season, some other fungus colony is attached to the algal colony. So this process, whenever both are living here, this is called 
picture. Now figure shows such a colony growing on a tree trunk. The fungus provides water and minerals to the alga, algae, while the algae per performs photosynthesis and supplies food in the form of sugars to the fungus. Yes, how they are living in symbiotic life. Whenever algae, so always when it has moisture surface, so it can grow. Whenever it is going to dry out, competing the rainy season, it is going to dry out. So when it algae part is going to dry out, it is occupied by the fungus part. Whenever fungus occupies the this substance, automatically will not fall in sunlight. So that much of leads to how much sunlight leads to dry out, that much sunlight is not fall. So that kind of production it is giving. Sometimes it is providing water. Whenever this algae can getting water, sufficient sunlight, automatically it is participating in the photosynthesis and providing food, preparing food their own way and providing food for fungus. So how it is protecting from the sunlight and how it is participating in photosynthesis and how they are both are living together. So this is the process adaptations which we are observing this. Due to such symbiotic adaptations, lichens are able to survive even in extreme conditions. Due to extreme summer, extreme, extreme hot conditions also, both are living without collapsing death. This is one kind of adaptation which we observed in fungus and avocani. So that is called the lichens. Next. Adaptations to Environment is not a simple phenomena, but a great, it is not easy. <laughs> so, adaptation to environment is not a simple phenomena, means it is not easy. What are the adjustable properties we have? That is not. If you keep a cow in a desert, will it be modified like a camel? No. According to adaptive, according to atmospheric conditions, we have to change our body structure. Is it possible? No. If you take one cow and keep it in the desert, can it convert into camel? No. If a giraffe is kept in a forest which is short trees or grass, it would not convert like a goat. Only so we. If you bring camel and leave in small plants, where is the small plants in the like forest? Can it convert into small deer or goat? No. Is it possible? No. Why? According to, according to atmospheric conditions, according to nature, we have to change. Not only but also every animal, every all of it is changing. Already we have evolution theory. So next step we will discuss about this. Adaptation takes place over a long so adapt you can you can change, you can get changes. If you keep the giraffe where small trees are located in the past. It is converted to deer and goat. But it is taking long period of time. What are the changes? What are the adjustment conditions which we are getting? Is not easy process means it is taking it is a long period process. Okay? Now no. Hmm? Story of Darwin's finches, finch birds. They are kind of birds. So Darwin already know who is father of evolution. So he described some theories according to biology. Now we are going small theory according to finches. Charles Darwin in the year 1885 landed from the famous ship HMS Beagle on one of the islands of the group of Galapagos Islands. So one day he wanted to research something. That's why he travelled the, by the ship. What is the ship name? HMS Beagle. Very very important. So ask in one more bit. What is the name of the ship which is travelled the Charles Darwin. So in 1885 the ship name is HMS Beagle. So where he went? He went to island of the group of Galapagos Islands. Group. Island means group of land area. He studied about different organs of the islands. Not only but also he observed everything in that area. What are the changes? What are the atmospheric conditions and about the nature? 
His most remarkable observation had been about finches. So different variety observations he observed in that area. So one important thing is he observed about the finch spots. He find out something changed in the finch spots. What is the change? So here our state bird is also a finch. So he was amazed to see that 13 types of finches that are different with respect to beaks and the power of feathers are present in the small region of the Galapagos Island. Just he observed the different birds in the same area. So what is Galapagos Island area? He observed 13 different variety of birds which is belongs to only the same species like finch. All are belongs to finch birds. All are belongs to the same species. But they have different beaks and different feather colors. What is the meaning of feathers? Colors are different. Beaks structure also are different. He find out that he raised some questions. Why? This all are living in the same area. All are branches the same species. Why they have different beaks? Different structure of beaks and different color of feathers. What is the reason? They observed a lot. He noted that some finches eat seeds while some eat fruits and the others eat insects. Why? What is the reason? All are living in the same area, all are also the same species. Why they have different structure of the beaks? He observed, he researched on finch birds. Finally, he find out the answer that depending on the uses, depending on the <coughs> using of beaks, the structure is different. Some birds are eating grains, some birds are eating insects, some birds are eating fruits. Depending on taking food items, the peak structures are different. According to army. If you use one of the parts we are using effectively, that part is developing the body. Same. If you are not using any one part of your body, it will go to collapse. Especially you don't use like keep dangling like this. Don't use. Within one week, ten days, it will not function. According to Darwin, in our body, what are the parts we are using properly? What are the parts we are using continuously? That parts only function properly. That parts only developing properly. The same way, finch birds which they are eating. Why? What is the structure? What are the different between structures? Different birds, depending on the food. Some beaks which is strong. That's why they have strong beak. Some birds which they are eating fruits. They have bending like structure of beak. Some birds are eating insects. Depending on the taking food item, they have different structures in the beak. So you find out also. Next. Adapt, <coughs> adaptive radiation in Galapagos finches. So observe these pictures. How, how many different kinds of all are belongs to finch birds. But the beaks are different. Colors are different. Try to guess if there is any relation between type of food taken and the structure of the beak. You find out any relation? Yes, there is a relation. Depending on taking food only, beak structure is forming in the birds. Birds which are taking soft food items, so the beak is different. Birds which, which birds which they are taking, so means grains. So the beaks are different. Yes, there is a relation. Depending on taking food and beak structure is is there a lot of relation? The seeds either had thick and heavy beaks. Yes. What is finch birds which they are eating? Seeds. Their beaks are heavy and thick. Why? They have to eat strong. Seeds means strong parts. The fruit seeders and stubby beaks. Stubby beaks? Just good collection. The insect eaters have sharp and long beaks. Birds which are eating insects, they are sharp and long. They have to catch the insects. Sharp, no need to escape. So the sharpness is escaping from the, uh, from the escape of the insects. Darwin observed that these birds had adapted to their immediate surroundings for food and shelter and showed a lot of variations even within the same species. Yes, according to this, all of them choose same species, same with living place. But they adapted according to their surroundings, depending on their food habits. These are very important properties to changing big structures in the finch birds. Especially with respect to the form of beaks, he made a sketch of the same as shown in the above figure 19. Yes. 
what is what is his expectations so what are the pictures are given when he observed okay, his expectations are nearly relation relative to this pictures yes there is a relation between a foot taking and big shots thus he concluded that adaptive smog is something that the organism is undergoing continuously yes according to darwin according to this theory adaptation is a continuous process in our life if any change in the atmospheric conditions according to atmospheric conditions we are going to change but it is slow process everyone not only human beings not only animals every creature on the earth they are going to change according to their environment conditions even within very closely related farms in a particularly geographically separate area even they are living same area they are showing some different different kinds of animals they are living different area sometimes they are showing same characters so this is the these are the very important points described by the darwin so what are the changes which we are getting according to environmental conditions it will take long time what are the adjustment conditions we are getting so these are continuous and long period of time okay